back to my channel it's your girl miriam ange if you're joining me for your first time do not forget to hit the red subscribe button so you can see what i do in this channel in today's video we are going to talk about how i work from home i am going to be showing you what i do as a housing liaison as a community support worker working with the homeless in dc with those who are going through a mental health illness those who have depression anxiety and trauma you know these people they are homeless they need our help and i'll be taking you through and showing you how to help them with some resources in the dc community how to apply to these resources so in today's video i have a consumer who need help in getting a phone so i'll be showing you the step by step on how to apply for a phone for your consumer and also i have another one that i'll be working in uh getting him into a transitional housing and i have to show you where you can help and how you can contact this transitional housing and see if they have availability if they have space so you can refer them to your consumers we all know these people they need our help and that is why we are there to help them and i'll be taking you through what i use sometime like here yeah, i'm sitting right here on my deck so this is my book i have here the list of names of consumers and their phone numbers it's true i also have them in my computer but sometimes i like to write them down in case i'm not on my decks and i want to maybe contact one of my consumers i just go to my book and i open them then putting on my computer and trying to look at their contact their name so i just go to my book and i get it and also in this book i try to like i get i write down some certain stuff like how i can help my consumer what they are going through in case i don't want to type it so i can come back and do my report in case i'm not on my computer so also i have here my my notebook this notebook is when i'm kind of working and i'm making a call with a consumer and i'm just jotting some stuff down mm, maybe i have some stuff that i need to do later i just write them down and i stick it on my desk like this <laughs> so and i have a phone right here i'll use it to call the consumers you know <laughs> and let's go straight to the point i'll be showing you my computer and what we will be working on are you ready okay let's go so what i do is i come on my computer and any resources that i find I bookmark them and I create a folder on my toolbar. This is these are the bar, right? This is like this. We call it the toolbar. So on my toolbar, I create a folder name CSW resources. You can see here I have the assurance wireless. It means if I have a consumer that each time uh, he needs help with getting a phone, I just come here and I choose Assurance Wireless. So I just come here and I go Assurance Wireless. You see, here is a, it takes me directly to the Assurance Wireless. And I come here and I put the zip code. Since it's in DC, uh, this my consumer is, is in DC. And I put the zip code. I already know my consumer zip code. So if your consumer is living in the home, you can you can actually uh, put his home address when you're applying for the phone, right? But if he doesn't have a, a home and you can use your office uh, your office address, like most of the time those who are homeless for my consumers who are homeless, they don't have a fixed address. I will usually put the zip code of you know of my workplace of the the office so yeah my consumer have a home so i just put the zip code you see it takes me straight to the page where it will say apply i've already put the zip code and i come here and i say apply now you click that button and it take you assurance wireless as you can see right here on the screen and it's loading let's just give computer is patient so you need to give the computer patient for the computer to load and for you to be able to do your job 
and yeah it says the first thing since we don't want to expose our consumers uh, private information we can just say John John first name we have John and the last name we can say Doe. We always use John Doe, right? Yeah, John Doe. We say John Doe. So you put the name, and yeah, it says contact information. What is your phone number? Consumer doesn't have phone number, right? The consumer doesn't have phone number. So we go to what is your email? The consumer doesn't have an email address. These people, they are homeless. Some of them don't have, you're applying for a, for a phone. He doesn't have a phone, so you don't have a phone number. And you don't want to put your phone number over there because sometimes you might put your phone number and this assurance wireless, they'll be calling you, you know. We already have a lot of consumers <laughs> in our contact and we don't want to be putting and people sending on us uh, or calling us unnecessarily so you come here you put an email address for email address i have a work email address that i use for my consumer so i will come here and i put a work email so i can just create a work email and i say this csw at gmail.com you see yeah let me put a fake email okay <laughs> because we are not applying i'm just showing you the step so this is actually not my work email i just put an email that you know but my email in my email i have a csw like okay it's a work email so if i'm helping or assisting my consumer out with any resources you know i go ahead and i put you know i put my work email so in case i'm getting notification about the phone that i'm applying for you know they should send it through my email because the consumer doesn't have email sometimes you can create your consumer's email but you know some of the time most of the time they don't have phone and sometimes you even apply for this phone they still lost the phone so you want to put your email so you can track the phone so you come here you repeat the email yeah it says repeat email you go ahead and you repeat email you can say csw at gmail.com mm -hmm. you see the email is put and yeah they will ask you what is the best way for assurance wireless to reach you you can say true email always put true email because business is always true email it looks more professional when you say email and it's your work email you're using and who is calling me right now maybe it's a consumer let's answer and see what they say hello good afternoon this is miriam hi miriam uh this is sole of uh, kayak okay hi how are you doing i'm doing good how about you i'm good uh one of your consumers just called me uh tanisha Mose. yes Oh. Oh, okay, no problem. Yes, I do have a pen and a paper. Two or two. Nine eight five. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah. Okay, guys, that was uh, one of my colleagues, and he's calling to tell me that my consumer just updated her phone number and she wants me to reach back to her, and so we can start, you know, probably she changed her phone so and she has a office number so she called the office and tell the office that she would like to talk to me so you see so that is uh, working from home <laughs> so as i'm working from home i'm getting call and i'm making call also but i just want to take you through the step and i can move on continue with my daily activities so you see when you put your email email they say what is the best way for assurance wireless to reach you you say email 
and they say i prefer to hear from assurance wireless they say what language you put you choose english make sure you choose english and here they say what are the last four numbers of your social security number this part is the social security number of your consumer the last four social security number of your consumers so let's just create a fake a social security number right there and yeah i'm putting some it has to match so this is just a social security number i'm just uh is none of my consumer social security so it's just a fake number so i just you make sure the number the match they say re-enter you pull the same thing they say if you do not have a social security what is your try by identification number mm. so yeah i actually don't answer this question because you know most all of the consumers there mostly they have uh, social security numbers and they say what is your date of birth so make sure you put your consumers date of birth you know this number i'm just forming them it's not real so you put here is the month and you put the day of the month and you put the month which one is it this is the day okay here is the month so you say october so october is the 10th month of the year and the day you can choose 15 it can be maybe october 16 that the consumer was born 1990 you choose the date that the consumer the year okay here is the year it says select select year so you come here you select year and you go to check if you are qualifying through a child or dependent in your household so the consumer is not qualifying through a child or dependent in the household you leave this box do not check this box and you come here and you go street number street number is the is the address of your consumer if your consumer do not have an address you can post the put the office uh address it can be maybe one six seven eight this is just a a number um i'm faking street avenue i don't know what number your office is you can just put it there try not to put the comma yeah because sometimes i put this comma and it doesn't go through you're not going to succeed apartment number if you're using your consumer address and your consumer live in an apartment you can put his apartment number you can be let's just put some fake number there and yeah washington is a city is already captured and everything you know when you put your zip code at the beginning it already captured that is in washington dc so that is it and you come here and you put a pin let's see if you need to remember your pin to activate your phone number write it down and keep it in the safe place because you will need it to activate your phone when it arrives so this pin is actually something that is going to help you to activate your phone when you receive the phone the consumer's phone because you need to help the consumer out in activating this phone so you come here you put a pin they said the pin they say no more than two consecutive numbers in a row right here you see where my cursor is so you have to create your six digit Pin. so it has to be six numbers six digit pin so yeah they say no more than two consecutive number in a row so like one two three eight two seven wouldn't work so you have to create some numbers that you know you can say one five eight you can say no let's just say uh ten ten seven five two two one you see this is a type of number that will work so you have you are, you are not supposed to put like consecutive number like one two three four you have to put like randomly and the pin need to be the same so ten seven five two one you see when you create like that you come here they say secret answer always put washington because you always remember washington right 
Yes, I always put Washington. It's a secret answer, just in case you know there is something something going on. So yeah, after you finish this page, that that's the most important page. Everything is done. You come to next. You see what? You see it took us to next. You see all of these. John Doe, all of these here yeah, is the co customer information. The customer information is just summarizing what you did. Customer name, email, contact. You see, you see our John Doe, you see our email. This is a fake email, okay, guys. And you see service address, you see the address we put. I told you not to put any comma right here, right? You see how it took it? And yeah, mailing address, mailing address is always the same. Social security, mm -hmm. you see, everything is good to go. When you add a page, you go to next. And now it says the mailing address provided could not validate, could not be validated. Please update the mailing address to correct the error. Yes, so the mailing address is not going because that is a fake email. It's not something that I've created and that is why it's not going. But after this page, that is the end of it. You go to the next page. The next page is just taking you through and telling you um, about about confirmation and telling you if your consumer is going to be qualifying through a Medicaid. Most of our consumers they have Medicaid, so they have they will be qualifying through Medicaid. So you have to tick where it says qualifying through Medicaid, and you choose that part. It will take you to the next page where you it will ask you to no. There is going to confirm to tell if your consumer qualify for it or not. When your consumer qualify for REIT, it's going to ask you to sign to put the consumer initial. And you put the consumer initial in all the boxes and you take submit. After you submit it, it says, mm, you will be receiving your phone in the next 10 business days, which is two weeks. Sometimes it comes early, it's depending on how far, you know. So that is it for today, guys applying for your consumer's phone is pretty much easy and for you to make your work easy always have your your file already saved right here on your computer you create a folder and you know you save your file if i want to show you how to create your folder that will be another video if anybody if you're interested in getting uh another videos on how to organize your computer how to organize your your files I'll definitely take you through that and I think that is the end of our video and we will be doing other thing for our next video okay guys that will be the end of our video that is one of the thing I do working from home like it's not just applying for the phone but other things so we'll be going step by step i'll be showing you the resources and how to use these resources and if you did like the video of today please give me a thumbs up if you have any comment please do not forget to leave your comment if you need help in any resources let me know and how to use it you want to know how to use it how to apply for these resources in these videos, I'll be mostly showing you how to apply for resources to your for your consumers. It can be housing, it can be you know the resources for uh, insurance, social security benefit, phones, and any resources you need. Just contact me on the comment section, and I will come out with something. Thank you all, and I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe. Enjoy. <laughs>